are going to discuss on how to find inverse matrix using ERO. Okay, we are going to write augmented matrix AI. Okay, and then we are going to perform ERO. So this arrow represents the operation, the elementary row operations. Okay, and we we will reduce the A to become identity, and eventually this identity will transform into A inverse. Okay, so we are going to perform these steps. Okay, these four steps. Okay, so the first step here, we are going to obtain zeros below the first position on the leading diagonal in the first column. Okay, so if you can see here, so our first step, okay, is to change, okay, or to obtain zeros in this element. Okay, so if you don't have zero element here, so the D and G here, okay, we need to change it to zero. Okay, so that is step one. And then step two, Okay, so we need to obtain zeros above and below the second position on the leading diagonal in the second column. So we see the second column here. So this element above and below the leading diagonal will be zero. Okay, so that is step two. And then step three. Step three, we are going to obtain zeros above the third position on the leading diagonal in the third column. So if you can see the third column here, so we are going to obtain zeros for these two elements C and F. Okay, and then last step, okay, because we need to change the A, okay, so this A we need to change it to become I, right? So that means all the leading diagonal elements or the major diagonal elements will be ones. Okay, so that is our last step. Okay, so here we are going to perform ERO using four steps. Okay, so in order to discuss this, so this is example that we're going to discuss. Okay, so we are given R as this matrix and then find R inverse by using elementary row operations method. Okay, so again, we write down this augmented matrix. Huh? So this is called as augmented matrix. Okay, where two matrices uh, written next to each other. Okay, so we have Ri and then we are going to perform ERO here. So that the R will reduce to I and then the I will reduce to R inverse. Okay, so let's perform the first step. Okay, so the first step just now we focus on the first column. So, okay, so the first column here. Okay, so we focus on these two elements. Okay, three. Okay, the row two and row three. Okay, so in order to discuss ERO, so by the way, we do have four types of operations, right? So we do have addition, we do have subtraction, we do have multiplication and division. Okay, in order to perform ERO, so we have to know that when we need to perform addition or subtraction, it has to be between rows. Okay, while if we need to perform multiplication or division, it has to be between row and scalar. Okay, so that means we can multiply by a number or we can multiply the row by a number or we can also divide the row by a number. Okay, but if we need to uh, do addition or subtraction, it has to be between rows. So we cannot perform addition and subtraction between row and scalar. Okay, so to get rid of it. So how to get rid of it? So we cannot simply uh, uh, subtract the row 2 by 3. So what do we do? We are going to perform the operation between row 2 and row 1. So this row 2 and row 1 and here also okay, we need to change this to 0 so we are going to perform between row 3 and row 1. Why? Because the elements in row 1 will remain unchanged. So we are going to perform operations between row 2, row 3 and row 1 here. Okay, But then we see the element in row 1 here, this is 1. So in order to get 0 so it has to be 3 minus 3. So that means the row 1 here has to be multiplied by 3. So that's why we have this 3 row 1. Okay, and then to get 0, so it's 3 minus 3. So row 2 minus 3 row 1. And the same thing also applied to row 3. Row 3 is row 3 minus 3 row 1. So this, okay, if you notice this is star symbol, that means we're going to have new row for row 2 and also row 3. Okay, so on the right side of this, we can see the operations okay so this is the operations written so this is okay row 2 
So row 2 here Okay we just copy down all the elements Okay in row 2 So 3 to 2 0 1 0 And then we minus with 3 multiplied by row 1 So we have row 1 1 2 1 1 0 0 So we multiply by 3 We will have 3 6 3 3 0 0 And then we just perform the subtraction So you can see the results here 3 minus 3 0 2 minus 6 is negative 4 2 minus 3 negative 1 0 minus 3 negative 3 And 1 minus 0 1 0 minus 0 is 0 and we also do the same thing for row 3 So row 3 Okay, we copy down all the elements 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 Okay, and then 3, row 1 So we have the row 1 multiplied by 3 So we have 3, 6, 3, 3, 0, 0 And then we perform the subtraction So we will get 0 here 4 minus 6 is negative 2 1 minus 3 is negative 2 0 minus 3 is negative 3 0 minus 0 is 0 And 1 minus 0 is 1 So after we have got the 2 rows okay the two new rows so what do we do here we are going to replace this okay the elements here the new elements here in this okay so this is the elements okay the new elements of row 2 and we also replace the elements the new elements of row 3 inside okay while well, previously we didn't do anything with row 1 so we just copy back the elements of row 1 okay so we bring down the elements so we have 1 to 1 1 0 0 okay now coming to the second step okay so this is second step we focus on the second column so okay the 2 here okay so the 2 here and negative 2 here okay they have to be zeros so how to perform this okay because the row 2 will remain unchanged so we are going to perform operation between row 1 row 3 and row 2 so if you can see the element here this is 2 and the element in row 2 is negative 4 so in order to okay get rid of 2 here or to change it to 0 so we will have 4 plus negative 4 so we will have 0 and then okay row 3 here we have this negative 2 so we need to eliminate yeah using this second row so that means we have to multiply row 3 by 2 and then we subtract by row 2 okay so now we will have this 2 row 1 plus row 2 and then for the new row 3 it will be 2 row 3 minus row 2 okay so now we will have this 2 r1 so we Okay, the row 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, we multiply by 2. We will have 2, 4, 2, 2, 0, 0. And then row 2, we just copy back all the elements. Then, we perform the addition. Okay, why addition? Because here, we have 4 and negative 4. So, in order to get 0, so it has to be 4 plus negative 4. So, that it will become 0. So, that's why we have this addition operation here. So, we solve this. So, we will have 2 plus 0, 2, 4 plus negative 4, 0. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 and we do the same thing for row 3 so we will have 2 row 3 okay so we multiply all the elements in row 3 by 2 so we will have this and then row 2 we just copy back the elements okay and we are going to perform subtraction why because we have negative 4 here and negative 4 here so how to get 0 so we have to perform subtraction to get 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0 negative 4 minus negative 4 is 0 negative 4 minus negative 1 is negative 3 negative 6 minus negative 3 is negative 3 0 minus 1 is negative 1 and 2 minus 0 is 2 so after we have got the elements in row 1 and row 3 okay we okay we transfer all the elements here in this so we have 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 1, 0. Okay, and then we have this row 3. 0, 0, negative 3, negative 3, negative 1, 2. So we copy back and then we re okay, we transfer the values here. While, we, okay, row 2 will remain unchanged because we didn't do anything with row 2 just now. Okay, so we bring all the elements in row 2. We just bring down the elements. Okay, now coming to the next step, step 3, we focus on the third column. So, third column, so these two elements have to be zeros. Okay, how to get zeros? Okay, we are going to perform operation between the these two rows and row 3 here. Okay, now we see the element here is negative 3. Okay, so that means we know that the row 1 and row 2 have to be multiplied by 3. Okay, so if we multiply row 1 by 3, so we will have 3 here. 
and since this element is negative 3 so we have to perform addition okay so let's see here so we have 3 row 1 so we have 6 0 3 negative 3 3 0 and then row 3 we just copy all the elements we have 0 0 negative 3 negative 3 negative 1 and 2 so we perform addition why addition because okay we have 3 and negative 3 here so in order to get 0 so we have to add so that okay 3 plus negative 3 will become 0 so we have 6 plus 0 6 0 plus 0 0 3 plus negative 3 is 0 and negative 3 plus negative 3 negative 6 3 plus negative 1 is 2 0 plus 2 is 2 okay and then we do the same for row 2 okay but then here if you multiply row 2 by 3 we will have negative 3 here okay and this is also negative 3 so in order to get 0 so we just subtract these two rows so we have this 3 row 2 so we have 0 negative 12 negative 3 negative 9 3 and 0 so, and then we copy all the elements in row 3 we have 0 0 negative 3 negative 3 negative 1 and 2 so we perform the subtraction to get 0 in the third element here okay so 0 minus 0 is 0 negative 12 minus 0 is negative 12 negative 3 minus negative 3 is 0 negative 9 minus negative 3 is negative 6 3 minus negative 1 is 4 and lastly 0 minus 2 is negative 2 now we are done with the third step okay so because we have new row for row 1 here Okay, new elements for row 1 and new elements for row 2. So, we bring down all the all the elements. Okay, so we copy. So, row 1 here. 6, 0, 0, negative 6, 2, 2. Do this. Okay, and then because we didn't perform anything for row 3 just now. So, we bring down all the elements. Okay, and then we will get this. Okay, so now we see all the off diagonal elements have become zeros. So now in order to to get identity matrix so we need to focus on this major diagonal elements okay so again um, we can perform multiplication or division between row and scalar so how to get six so we divide by six or we may multiply with one over six so here the new row for row one will be one over six row one and then here because we have negative 12 so to get 1 so it has to be division with negative 12 or multiplication with negative 1 over 12 okay then how to get okay how to change negative 3 to become 1 so we divide by negative 3 or we multiply by negative 1 over 3 okay so we do the operation so row 1 here so everything here we divide by 6 so that's why we have 1 0 0 Okay, and then negative 1, 1 over 3, 1 over 3. And then row 2, we are going to divide by negative 12. So every element here, we have to divide by negative 12. So 0 divided by negative 12, 0. Negative 12 divided by negative 12 is 1. 0 divided by negative 12 is 0. And then negative 6 divided by negative 12, 1 over 2. 4 divided by negative 12 is negative 1 over 3. And negative 2 divided by negative 12, you will have 1 over 6. And then row 3 here, we are going to divide by negative 3, okay? So, 0, 0, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is also 1. And negative 1 divided by negative 3 is 1 over 3. And 2 divided by negative 3 is negative 2 over 3. So, now you can see eventually this matrix has become identity. And we can deduce that, okay, we can conclude that this matrix here is the are inverse okay but we are not done because we need to finalize the answer properly we take out all the elements here and we write down the final answer